beautiful. Beautiful. Yes, Schmitz is a dry beer, a mellow beer, a hearty beer, blended into one beautiful beer. Schmitz of Philadelphia. That's the beautiful beer. Beer as beer should be. A great companion for any sport, and especially for this championship fight as we enter round number 11. And here's Hal Freeman. Plus, they kind of ruffled... They kind of ruffled Carter there. They made the referee come over and had him put his belt down. Apparently the safety belt was up a little bit high and Giardello's corner had uh, complained about it. Arnold Giovanetti, his business manager, had gone over and asked Bob Polis to get it. Now here's round 11 and Les Kiter. And we have an angry Hurricane Carter as Bob Polis made them adjust his belt and Carter didn't like it one bit. That belt was getting higher and higher. All right, let's see what an angry Carter does. He's now tugging at his belt as he goes out to meet Giardello in the 11th round. He hit Joey at the bell and some of the fans booed that. Round number 11 and the title hangs in the balance here. Two thirds of the way through the middleweight championship fight at Convention Hall in Philadelphia. And Carter missed all three of those punches. Joey is making him miss more and more. Of course every one of them carries a message if it lands. The referee is Bob Polis of Philadelphia. The challenger from Patterson landed a light left, backed away from Joey's right. Left to the eye, Giardello. Giardello blocked with his glove, landed a short right. Giardello's fight number 127. Number 25 in the career of Hurricane Carter. He's 20 and four. You can see that belt about two inches over the back of Carter's trunks extended up toward his back. About four inches up there now. Like a slap on the face with the left hand, Carter. Giardello to the body, in close. We are midway through round number 11. Left to the body, Giardello. Carter missing a combination. Giardello definitely fighting his own kind of fight now. Countering, bobbing, weaving, ducking, forcing the contender to miss. Lands a sharp left in close. About a, less than a minute to go, round 11. Neither man down, neither man hurt. One cut eye. Giardello round four and five. It's okay now. Carter is probing. Not swinging as often, but he's probing. There he wings and misses by about three inches over the top of the head. A hard left by Carter, and then he misses the answering left hand to Giardello's left. Misses by Carter, a left and a right. These misses, of course, count in the scoring against you. There's a left to the face by each man. Round 11, almost over. The champion fighting a typical champion type of fight. Every time Carter moves in on him, Joey counters and forces Carter to miss. The bell ending round 11 and how. Joey may have a little cut on the side of his nose, uh, right on the face there, or perhaps it's a deep smear, but there is some blood there. But certainly after 11 rounds less, I think we have to agree, he seems to have as much stamina as Reuben Carter, and there's a seven-year difference between the fighters. Giardello seems ready to go on to finish this fight and to go fill 15 full rounds if he has to. He doesn't seem a bit tired, and of course Carter has slowed down considerably. We're just about ready now for round 12, and uh, Joey and Reuben both staring uh, at each other across the... And here we're back into Joey's corner. They're working feverishly there, but... He seems to be in pretty good physical condition. He's trained awfully hard for this fight. Back to Reuben Carter's corner. He still is concerned about that belt, and he's looking down as they adjust it. Here's Les Carter in round 12. The referee over talking to Pat Amato, the manager of Hurricane Carter. Joey nodding to friends at ringside, talking uh, to his seconds. Here we go to round number 12. 
Four rounds to go for the title and a hard right cross thrown by the champion. Oh, stinging left to the cheekbone. Carter. Carter missing the right. Tied up by the champ. Referee Polis working more and more as they tie each other up more and more. Joey takes a left, forces Carter to miss a right and a left. Giardello fighting the classic craftsman's fight. Now working in close. Takes a short jolting right in close by Carter. Carter unmarked. Giardello relatively so. What you see is collodion and protection for the eyebrow cut he sustained in the fourth round. Now, Carter. Now, Carter. Carter. Hard left to the body by the champion. And he has Carter against the ropes. Carter. Round 12. A right to the chin and then an answering left straight jolt by Carter. They exchange hard lefts in close, and the punches are beginning to land on both of them. The attacks picking up here in the 12th. Still no mark on Hurricane Carter. This is the right, tied up immediately in Giardello's corner. Halfway through round number 12, middleweight championship at stake. Giardella lands a hard left to the chin and forces Carter to miss the right. And it's Carter ho holding on for the first time here in round 12. Joey uncorked one to the chin that time. Carter probes, comes in, throws a short right. Joey ties him up, counters. Slipping, bobbing, countering the champion from Philadelphia. Nice left hand by Hurricane Carter. Almost a bolo punch again. Shades of Kid Gavilan. Only Carter hits much harder than the kid ever hit. And Joey alert to the hitting power and the heaviest puncher in the 160 pound division. Reuben Hurricane Carter. This is the 12th round. And the first punch that Joey's landed on top of that bald pate. And Joey with combinations and then forcing Carter to miss. Hard left by Hurricane Carter. Right over our microphone. Late in round number 12. The bell ending the 12th round. Been some beautiful fighting here tonight. The kind of top performance you can expect from a couple of real pros. And when you look for top performance in a beer round after round, you'll find it in Schmidt. Good idea to buy Schmidt's in the pack or the four pack of big 16 ounce glass cans. That way you'll always be ready to pour one beautiful beer. Giardello uh, uh, must come back now pretty strong in these next few rounds, Les. It, it appears that he would be behind in points. He's not hurt. But I think that he's a little behind in the points. Here's round 13 to Les Kiner. Three rounds to go. Nine minutes of fighting. And they've pulled Carter's pants up high in front. And they're low in back with that belt out about four or five inches. The next three rounds could well determine the winner in this one. Carter missing the right hook. 30 seconds into round number 13. A miss by Carter again, tied up by the champion. From the rear, it looks like Carter has a well-laced corset. Joey waiting for Carter to make his move here in round number 13. And then Joey in with a light left that misses. They both miss left. The action slowing here in the 13th so far. A straight left jab to the chin of the champion. Carter with a hard left under the right eye, but Giardello was moving clockwise away from the force. Then lands a left and forces Carter to miss the uppercut. 
Les Kiter and Hal Freeman at ringside, Convention Hall, Philadelphia, PA. Left to the eye by the champ, the challenger. Not too much effect. Halfway through round 13. Joey backed away from a loaded right. Takes a light left to the body. Carter pushes him against the ropes just off Giardello's corner. Referee Bob Polis breaks the man. Little less than two and a half rounds remain. Carter's right hand missing again. Left to the body by the champion and then a right to the chin. And he forces Carter to miss. Heavy scoring by champion Giardello now. Joey coming on strong in the latter part of round 13. Giardello.